Hi guys, so if you're here that means you want to buy some art, which means I'm super excited to see you. I just wanted to explain a couple things about buying art prints and merch from artists and how it works. So in my shop, you'll most likely find some prints, stickers, and original artwork and paintings. Prints and stickers are a really good way to support your favorite artists and to own artwork that you can display in your house for very affordable prices compared to canvas, paintings, and things like that. On my site, you'll notice that most of the prints come in size options. I want you guys to always feel free to email or DM me if you have special preferences or special sizes items that you're interested in because I would love to get that feedback and be able to accommodate all of you. Basically, for my older prints that are now on sale, so take a look, um, they were mostly portrait, They were mostly portrait. So this one right here would be an 11 by 14. Eight by 10 is pretty similar to paper size. And then there's five by seven, which is pretty small, probably like this area right here. Um, those are good for like postcards, small frames to put on shelves and things like that. But it's completely up to you. So generally speaking, this is 11 by 14. Um, they frame really nice, I think and I made it so that if you want to mat it, you can just cut a lot of this empty space that I left um, and you can have like the white mat board in front of it. That also makes it look really nice. As you can see, this one has it. Um, so this one is from the new series. I know I look. Okay. I have a lot of square prints available, um, so that's also something to keep in mind. I like to work in square. Any square is in. Square makes me feel very modern. I like the way that compositions are distributed in square um, one, one to one ratio. I like the way that compositions are distributed, distributed in square ratios. So this one here is an eight by eight and so it's matted. This frame is a 12 by 12 frame with an eight by eight mat. So that's why the 8x8 fits so nicely in here. Um, and I just think that they display super well. So another thing to keep in mind is if you notice a difference in pricing and things that are the same size, a lot of times it has to do with the quality of the print itself. Um, like these in particular, they were printed on super thick, high quality paper. And so I priced them a little bit higher just for that quality that you're gonna get. Like these feel so good. This is an eight by eight. This is a six by six. You can see the size difference. Um, eight by eight, I'm a big fan of, but I think it all depends on where you plan to put them. I know some people just kind of like collect them and, and have them laying around and then other people are really looking to get them framed. I know that that can be a concern as well, like how do I frame a square print? And I would suggest going online. I think you can find really affordable options online. A favorite of mine is going to Michael's. Michael's often has frames buy one get two free or like 70% off. That's usually when I go get my frames. Um, both of these are from Michaels, and they were both on sale when I got it. I think this one was 60% off when I got it. This one was buy one, get two free. Um, so I ended up just framing a lot of stuff at the same time. I'm hoping in the future that I can offer that option. It just takes some time to figure out the logistics and a company that would supply it in a way that's affordable for both me and customers. Um, but I thank you guys so much for being here and for being interested in buying this art. Even if you don't get anything today, I still appreciate you taking a look. Share it with somebody you love or you think would enjoy it. Um, stickers, also, generally speaking, smaller than the palm of your hand. If they're $3, they're like the palm this size. I have some stickers for $5 and that's because they're I think that's it. I think that should help you navigate through this space. 
take a look at the tabs. I have things organized by square prints, regular prints, sale items, stickers. So if you're having trouble looking at them all at once, you can definitely take a look up there and it should help you out. And I hope you find something you like and I'll see you again.